All right, for post-workout here, I have this blueberry crumble that was supposed to be like a blueberry cobbler that is a little bit more dry than I thought it would be, but I just microwave it with a little bit of almond milk and it actually works perfectly on top of some Greek yogurt and it's delicious. And then I have some egg whites with ketchup and sriracha and a piece of toast with ham, some of the egg white scramble and a fat-free slice of cheese. This is the blueberry crumble I was kind of talking about. So there's only a little bit left there, but it was really good. I will be posting the recipe on my Instagram, so you can go check it out there. What's up guys? Sorry for the non-intro to the vlog. It was probably pretty quiet without my voice. Um, We are going to do some baking today and not really any healthy baking. I just, before, I get into like all my fitness and stuff. I love to cook. And like obviously you guys know that because I'm such a foodie. But like baking, oh, it's my favorite pastime in the world. So the benefit of being at home is that mom has like all the unhealthy stuff that you really need for like non-healthy baking. So I don't need to go out of my way to go buy it. Well, but actually I do because she's out of some stuff. But She's got the best kitchen for baking. It's so big and she's got like every kind of chocolate chip you need. So I'm really excited. I really like still haven't decided what I wanna do. I was up so late last night looking at recipes that I wanna bake because I couldn't sleep. And I'm just like so excited. If you can't already tell with my voice, but we need to go run to the grocery store, grab a few things, and then we're gonna get baking. Cool. Okay, back from the grocery store, and I kind of decided while I was there what I'm going to make, so I really want to try some like Funfetti Oreo blondies. So, yeah. Birthday cake, Oreos, so excited. Probably have one while I'm making it. And then I'll use like sprinkles, but it's gonna be a blondie mix, not like a brownie mix, because I actually already made brownies like last week, and they're gone. All right, so the first thing I did was soften a cup of margarine in the microwave. Next thing we're gonna do is add a cup of sugar and then it's a quarter cup of stevia in the raw. Looks like this, because now it fits in on the health channel. <laughs> Cause I'm ridiculous. It was supposed to be one and a quarter cup pure sugar and I, that quarter cup of stevia, it's gonna make it all better, all better, guilt free. And then we're adding half a cup of oil and then we'll combine this. It's got my handy dandy blender here. Sugar is all blended up with butter. God damn, I haven't made anything like this in so long. Okay, next we're adding eggs into it so it said room temperature mine were in the fridge so what i did is just set them in a bowl of water for a little bit and i'll get them at room temperature You're supposed to stir after each one two teaspoons of vanilla is next My mom gets like the fancy like Mexican vanilla. I don't know if it makes a difference, but. Going to add our dry into our wet now. So it's just the flour, cornstarch, and baking powder, baking soda. And I'm just gonna add a little bit at a time. I don't know if you can really tell, but I'm making a huge mess. Like I have batter on the floor and stuff. Whatever. It's tasting really good so far. Freaking love cookie dough. Okay, so I am doing a quarter cup of, there's actually semi-sweet and milk chocolate ones in there. And then about a quarter cup of white chocolate as well because I love white chocolate. Sprinkles already in there. Okay, so I am using an eight by eight pan. I put half the batter in there and then a layer of Oreos. And now we'll put 
the other half. Okay, so that is how it looks. It asked for a nine by nine pan and I only had an eight by eight. So I actually have quite a bit of dough left. So I'm probably just going to have an Oreo and some of it. Well, this goes in the oven because I'm impatient. So that's going in for 35 minutes at 350. I can't wait to try this. I'm gonna put some of the batter right in there. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Focus. Oh. This is changing my life. It's so good. Mm -mm -mm. All right, the next recipe we're gonna make, and yes, we're making two, are oatmeal, pecan, coconut cookies. Oatmeal, coconut, pecan cookies. Yes. So, again, softened two things of margarine in there. When I soften it in the microwave, I do it at 22 second intervals, flip them over, and at 70% also, so they get more cooked all the way through. All right, so I'm going to add a third cup of the stevia in the raw again instead of white sugar, but we do have regular brown sugar in there as well. And I'm gonna mix that all up. So also added the eggs and vanilla in there, mixed it all up. Then in here we had the flour, baking soda, and cinnamon, and a little bit of salt. Now we're going to put this one into there, mix it all up before we add the add-ins. Okay, so I added in the two cups of quick oats. It said two and a half, but that just seems like a lot. So I'm gonna go with two for now and see what happens. And then a cup of unsweetened coconut. I'm a little sad that this is the fine, so it's like really, really shredded, but that's okay. And then we'll add the pecans. All right, everything is mixed up in there. And let me assure you, it tastes very good. So we are going to roll this into balls onto a greased sheet there and I just took out the blondies they look and smell amazing oh my gosh okay so I realized in my last video I seriously just talked about staying on track and now I'm making cookies but that's just the thing like you need to be able to enjoy yourself too at some point so I mean I'm not baking cookies every single day and I'm not gonna eat like seven of them a day, well probably one of them a day, but like I'll track it, I'll put it into my macros. Today I'm honestly just going to avoid my carbs for the next meal and I'll just have like a salad or something like that. And that's just how I'm gonna balance this part out because obviously I'm eating like a little bit of dough in between and I'm gonna wanna try a cookie when they're out and I'm gonna wanna have a brownie when they're out. So I don't know, like that's just kind of my mindset on it right now because I'm a few pounds above stage weight, like, not a few, like a little bit. I just did my check-ins today and I was actually really surprised with how my check-in photos went. Like, I think I personally am a lot fluffier than what they seem. I think I just pose okay for myself. But I don't know, I'm just, this is what I wanna do. Baking makes me so happy, like, I spent all night looking at recipes last night, but I don't know, like this is just, it's one of my hobbies and if I can't do it in my off season, then I'd be really, really sad. And I know I obviously could have waited a little while longer before I did stuff like this, but I don't know. That's just my thought right now. All right, so this is how they are going into the oven. I rolled them into quite large balls, like they're pretty thick. But, you know, and then I put a few white chocolate wafers on a few of them. I didn't do that on the other batch, but I like my white chocolate and I still had it out. All right, so those are the cookies. These ones were in for 12 minutes. I'm going to try the next ones for 11 just to see, but they're still really soft. So they smell amazing. And yeah, at 350 as well. Okay, you guys, these are out of this world. So freaking good, like dangerously good. I already had a whole square. And these are all done too. Also super good, just chewy and pecan-y. They don't taste near as sweet, obviously, as those motherfuckers, but it's kind of a nice change then too. 
All right, I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of a different video baking with me today. Um, sorry it was unhealthy if you were looking for healthy recipes, but if you do, you can refer back to literally any other video I make, basically. I have officially eaten like two full things and actually, no, my mom ate that one, but I ate two full ones. They're so good. Uh, the recipe will be posted on my Instagram and I'll post the cookie recipe down below. So. Thanks for tuning in. You got a workout and some good post-workout food afterwards. So that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and be sure to subscribe. You can also hit a bell button if you wanna be notified when I post my videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Oh yeah, girl, I hope you're sure what you're looking for. Cause I'm not good at making promises.